Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Mark Bird, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Friday. Happy Friday to you all. And it's August 8th. We got uh, just a couple of minor economic reports uh, up here today. So we start with the productivity for the second quarter. So uh, the first quarter, we had actually revision here to even worse number to 4.5%, a decline of 4.5%. So remember, uh, we had some horrible weather back east that had a major effect on our economy uh, for the first quarter. So the forecast for the Q2 uh, was at 1.7%, and we did exceed it at 2.5%. So good overall numbers. It showed some improvement. Uh, so a lot of that was kind of lag from the first quarter that kind of brought into the uh, second quarter in the spring over there. Now, we also have labor costs, uh, second quarter. This is something, of course, we're watching because we want to make sure that we don't have issues in terms of uh, inflation. But in the first quarter, it jumped up 11.8%. And then uh, second quarter, it went up 0.6%. So overall, this is decent because it's only about uh, over four quarters, it's about 1.9% uh, overall. So even though we had that one huge number in the first quarter, uh, if you look at the overall number uh, over four quarters, it was actually only about 1.9%. So it's still tan modest pace right there. So it's not, so inflation so far is not peaking too early yet, but it is something to watch as wages increase over time. Uh, wholesale inventories, 0.3% uh, uh, back in May and June only up 0.3%. So again, modest pace. So they're expecting modest. Uh, so basically what this is telling us is that we can expect modest growth. Uh, so nothing out in the ordinary where we're just taking off really at a hot bed or uh, nor are we slowing down a little bit. So unlike Europe, as we saw the European uh, news this last, past week, uh, Italy going, falling back into a recession, uh, and some comments were made by Draghi, uh, the European uh, Central Bank uh, head over there. So, so far we're at a modest pace, so um, which is kind of helpful in some ways, but hopefully, of course, we always like to see it go a little bit stronger. Uh, let's take a look at the headline news. So far, the stock market is up. Uh, so those news were decent, but a lot of it has to do more with the geopolitical. Uh, Iraq, they kind of brushing out the news, even though we're doing some airstrikes on uh, the militants over there. Uh, Russia basically said, came out, Putin kind of made comments, said that they're going to try to calm, uh, calm the, um, basically the, you know, the confrontation with Ukraine. Uh, so looking at ways of trying to defuse the situation that's going over there, which is kind of, you know, making everybody happy uh, as, of course, we don't like to see, you know, all these battles and stuff. So let's go and take a look at the bond market. And as a result, uh, everything's been going to flight to safety. So remember, uh, the stock market's been down this past week, even though today it's up a little bit. Uh, we've got a nice improvement in the rate. So uh, this is the highest we've been. If we can keep this range, we'll, we might be able to break out. So it'll be interesting to see if we can break out of the range we've been kind of seeing. So remember, we've been kind of in this, at, right around here has been the highest, and right now we're way up here. So if we can keep above this range and continue that next week, uh, we might have some continued improvement in our interest rate short term here. So be very careful, though, because uh, we could fall back into you know this range and stay in that uh sideways pattern right there but as of right now rates are showing some improvement all right folks hey thanks for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful upcoming weekend here uh monday we don't have any scheduled news but uh again uh be prepared for geopolitical news as, as seems to be the the main item that's kind of controlling the markets right now so have a wonderful weekend and thanks for watching and we'll see you guys monday take care